So what's the big announcement? I don't know. All I've had for days, people ask me, what's the big announcement? Dude, I don't know, okay? But I can tell you all of the different rumors that I have heard and what I believe. This is what I believe the announcement is going to be, okay? I believe that AEW has made a deal with HBO Max, all right? May not have happened, okay? But I've heard from multiple people who believe that is the case. Internally within WWE, that's what they believe the announcement is, that there is a deal with AEW and HBO Max. Now, something that I have noticed is that... um, You ever heard of the game of Telephone, where uh, you have a big circle of people? I haven't played this game since I was like three. But there's a big group of people, and so I would say to Mike, uh, Montese is going to be the guest on the show today. And then Mike has to tell the next person, Montese is going to be the guest on the show. And then the next person goes, "Um, there's like going to be an easy guest on the show here today. Then the next person goes, "Uh, there's going to be an easy guest on the show Maybe filthy, he's easy. And then, you know, by the time it get back to me, it's like, you know, filthy's easy. I'm like, what? That's creepy. But anyway, sometimes I think that when these uh, these rumors start, it's like somebody comes up with an idea, and then they tell somebody else the idea, and then that person tells somebody else the idea, and then that person believes that that's actually, like, the idea. And then, you know, by the time it get back to whoever... You've got whatever. So there may be nothing to this HBO Max story. But within WWE, they believe that AEW has made a deal with HBO Max. That's number one. Uh, There's also uh, the belief that AEW and uh, they have have, uh, purchased some tape libraries. Okay. Uh, The rumored tape libraries are Ring of Honor and, and, as Andrew Zarian noted... A non-New Japan Japanese wrestling company. Who could that be? Uh, Tokyo Joshi Pro? Noah? I have absolutely no idea. All of this also could be much ado about nothing. So I believe Tony Khan did a a, uh, a conference call or something today, and he was asked about the idea of a, a streaming deal. And uh, suffice to say, he did not shoot it down. Said it'd be a great idea. Said it'd be it'd be great. So I mean. I think, I believe, that the announcement is probably going to be something involving HBO Max and some video libraries. And obviously, if they bought the the Ring of Honor video library, they would have the footage for all in. And of course, if, if AEW were doing their own streaming sort of service, like with WWE and Peacock, obviously you want the genesis of the promotion there. So... We'll see what happens tonight. I mean, Tony Khan is coming out to deliver the news. So whatever it is, he feels like it's a a really, really big deal. I've heard other rumors as well. Everyone's heard, oh, maybe it's going to be an AEW New Japan Super Show. I don't think that's the announcement. I don't think that's big enough for Tony Khan to come out on TV and, and talk about it. I had people, you know, speculating, oh, maybe he bought Ring of Honor outright and Cody's going to go there as the booker. I don't think that's happening. I don't know. I don't think that's happening. That, to me, was was one of those things that was like, it started out as speculation, and people were thinking, hey, maybe this is what happened. And then so many people told so many other people that all of a sudden it's like on Reddit is that's going to be the news. I don't think that's the news. But I want to make abundantly clear, I don't know what the announcement is going to be. I'm just piecing everything together that has been rumored throughout the wrestling business, whether it's with WWE or wherever. That is... Uh, that's my speculation as to what it's going to be tonight. What are all the journalists saying? What have they reported on? What have they been able to uncover? Anything in this? No, because I mean, nobody's talking. I mean, I've mentioned this a thousand times. But everybody's talking. But Brian, well, they're the talking, but here's is, the deal. It's been, yeah. Here's the ahead. deal. Everybody has NDAs. So nobody's, nobody's going to say anything. I mean, I, I listen, I've never actually asked. I don't know what the NDA situation is in terms of, like, booking AW, but I never hear anything before it happens. I only hear about it after it happened. So the people that know, I would bet you dollars to donuts, they've all signed NDAs, they can't talk. They can, I'm sure, talk after the announcement tonight, but nobody has said anything going in. 
Okay, I'm just ready to get it over with. This t- stuff has been going on for so long, and what, what's the big announcement going to be? And everybody's bantering about super shows, and is, is Cody, does this whole thing a swerve? Did they buy Ring of Honor and all all this stuff? I just want to get it over with. You know, I've heard for a long time that it's going to be something having to do with a streaming service. Now, whether that meant on their own, whether that meant with HBO Max, whether that meant something other with the Time Warner Library, obviously Bleacher Report. I don't know if it's I don't even know if it still exists anymore, but it certainly probably didn't do what they wanted it to do. But they didn't have anything to put on there yet. If they're going to Time Warner and and everybody involved there is going to do a sports arm on HBO Max, which would make perfect sense. If if they were to do something like that, AEW being on there would be great. One of the things with the Ring of Honor tape library, because that has come up a lot over the last couple of weeks. In that case, what does this now mean for Ring of Honor? You know, and there's a lot of things, again, we got to hear what the announcement is, but that's something that people are saying, well, man, maybe he bought the library. Oh, man, maybe. Okay, well, if he bought the library and if he bought the company outright, I mean, maybe we would not. I don't think he bought the company. Well, that's the whole thing is something tells me we would have heard something about that because Sinclair's got certain channels that they would have to go through. But if they bought just the library... What then does that mean for Ring of Honor? What does that mean for Sinclair? What do they now have? What do they have at their disposal now? What what weapon does Ring of Honor have? Their whole history would be sold to AEW. I mean, cert- certainly talk about starting new in that case. But then again, then why do you want to be Ring of Honor then? Why not just start new with a whole new name and, and all that other stuff? So, And they're not doing that, obviously, because they've signed what? It's going to be Swerve and... Alex Zane, I think they signed for Ring of Honor just yesterday to be in Texas at WrestleMania weekend. So I'm just ready to get the whole thing over with. There has been all this conjecture. I'm so sick of like, well, do you know? Uh, have you heard anything? I don't know anything. He he. Let's just get this thing over with and, and get it done. And one thing for anybody out there who's younger that wants to try to punch a hole in things, obviously, when it comes to, you know, reporting on these stories and digging into them and trying to get sources, there's obviously a hole you can punch through because nothing has come out clearly about this and everybody's playing a hot potato with it. So, you know, for you kids out there looking to get into this thing, start grinding away. There's a there's a hole to be filled for sure. A hole to be filled to work your way through NDAs? I'll believe it when I sure, see it. Sure, sure, sure. You got the no NDAs, talking. and you have proof of all the NDAs, correct? Well, I know people have told me they can't talk because of an NDA, so mm. that's it. Okay. That's what happens. Okay, do you have proof of the NDA that they're saying, or are they just saying that you're taking it to work? What are you trying to get at here, I don't Mike? know, because you like, just keep burying me, able... like you're throwing me, like, well, if people can work their way through NDAs, I mean... I'm not burying no, you at all. I'm saying nobody is talking. reporting on this story and trying to bust through. That's all I said. Oh, I hope they people can work their way through NDAs. I'm sorry you don't know, dude. Okay? I, well, my apologies to you. You go work your way through the NDA and then tell me what the announcement is by the end of the show here. Well, why don't you have apparently the NDA, it's since easy. you keep talking about NDAs, so why don't you like break them out for me then? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Brian? You're angry that no reporter has found out what the story is yet. All I said was, because of the way it's been reported, you started the show with, what's it going to be? Obviously, there's a hole for people to punch through to get sources and try to report on things. That's the only thing I'm saying. Well, those people can work their way through NDAs. Yeah, I guess they'll have to, Brian, and they'll have to get sources to try to work their way through it and to try to report on this big story that nobody's been able to report about. Okay. Now, there was an incident last week where I lost my mind and uh, attempted some gory self-mutilation. Trini, stop that! No! I don't believe my own eyes anymore. What I I think I see, they're telling me I didn't see, all right? (laughs) But that's what happened. Okay, so seven days ago, seven days ago, he shaved his own head. He goes back here. I swear to God, his hair's back again. <laughs> well, like, nothing happened. I'm trying to hang on. I'm trying desperately to grip on reality. And every time I, I, every time I think I'm there, every time I think I'm safe and stable, Duke Hudson's hair changes again. His motivation changes again. Something about Dante Chen. If you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month. You can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.